All right, our interview is ready, so let's have a quick chat with Fox. Bonsoir, Fox. How are you? Hey, Milos. I'm good. How are you? Uh, I miss you, buddy. It's been a while. Um, it has been, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll see you soon in Montreal, that's for sure. Uh, <laughs> I've heard it. Yeah, we'll, we'll see it out. This guy's in the back, pretty happy. There's a lot of work that's been done, and the shark as well. He's, yeah. it's, <laughs> it's very nice to see all of you pretty happy, right? That's, that's real. You guys have been putting up a decent chunk of victories on the board. You got 10 points so far. We'll take a look at some of the things that have been going on in this matchup. There, <laughs> I, I don't, I don't know if Skies can hear me. I think he has his AirPods on, which means he cannot hear anyone. Right? Can't hear you yeah, over bad. the sound of being rich. Anyway, my bad. My bad. <laughs> so, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> so, take a look at a few things here. Now, you know, you got caught in that very first round as you're playing the um, the Legion on the top floor. Unfortunate for you, but you guys were still able to win rounds that you should have not taken. Uh, I want to mention one specifically where you start off on garage defense. You were playing on the top floor, you got instantly shot down, and the round kind of got very difficult for you. Rogue ended up taking it. You adapt to it by running Mira downstairs, both Mira windows, instead of having one in the bathroom and one in the office downstairs, also having the Echo and reinforcing the bathroom hatch, which definitely surprised Rogue. Mm -hmm. how, is, how is this adaptation going throughout the rounds? Because the instant you guys were roaming and you got pushed by Rogue, you fell back and then you retook that same position later on the round when you saw the opening. Uh... Uh, I don't know. I mean, I think like it, if something didn't work, why do it again, right? So I don't know. We're just uh, adapting on the fly. Um, I don't know. We kind of knew it was our game, especially after Skies like almost got that one v five ace, oh, yes. and they let him. Like at that point, like we knew like they were kind of uh, not really playing their game. So at that point, we just I don't know played our game, and if something didn't work, we just switch it. Now, simple. How are things going on? Where in round number eight, you guys were attacking. Um, it was attack on garage and. You saw that Rogue were putting a lot of manpower in the top floor. There were initially two and then three players upstairs, and then it turned into four. You changed around and attacked the bottom floor directly because you saw they had the opportunity. Why do you think Rogue dedicated so much manpower on the top? And how easy was it to execute with little manpower left to defend the garage itself? Um, I don't know. I mean, I think they were expecting us to do like an aggressive uh, upstairs take where we'd get piano or whatever. Um, but once we saw that, yeah, I mean, just going straight to site is like there's the path of least, least resistant. So at that point, we just kind of went there and decided to uh, plan. We just held their rotates and looks like it worked out pretty well for us. But yeah, it, it very much did. I'm I'm very impressed. Uh, you guys now sit atop on uh, on the board, uh, potentially maybe tying again tonight with uh, with one more matchup to go for Dark Zero. They might be, uh, you know, getting the same amount of points in the end of the day, but so far, so good for the squad. It definitely looks like Skies has integrated very well with the team. Mm -hmm. How is the communication and everything going? Because, you know, we obviously saw him on the camera there, but, like, how is everything going with the whole team now being reformed? Yeah, no, I mean, I think we all have a lot of fun, uh, and it's enjoyable, and uh, I think it was a really good call to put Move Mark onto support. Um, he's been really doing really good on support. Mm -hmm. Um... And he, he's like, <laughs> sorry, he's looking at me. Um, but yeah, he's doing, been doing really good, and uh, he gets his kills. So uh, the rest of us, I don't know, we just kind of, everyone gets along really well. Everyone has fun. Me and Gabe are actually sick uh, this week, so we were hoping that we would be able to, you know, be able to play properly. So I don't know, it's good to see everything come together like we know it can. All right, well, we'll get to see how that goes again tomorrow. You're playing against Orglis. So... Mm -hmm. There's always that 24-7 grind, I guess. So, of course. again, Fox, congratulations. Would you like uh, to say anything to the fans who are watching the game? Uh, thank you guys for supporting us. We'll see you guys at Invitational. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, look out for us tomorrow. Yeah, thank I'm you. I'm waiting for you to say, yes, I'm also going to pay for Milos' Korean barbecue once we go to Montreal, but it's okay. I'll assume you just said it. Anyways, thank you very much, Fox. Congratulations again on your victory against Rogue. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Bye bye. Really held his feet to the fire on the last one, asking the tough questions.